Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello and welcome to the third topic of Knowledge Boost series. In this topic, we will be exploring a brand new technology that have completely changed the industry of electric motors. It's time for PCB Stator Motors. We will see what is it, PCB versus iron stators, the pros and cons, its applications, and I'll leave you with the references so you can take it from there. Without any further ado, let's get started. What is it? For over a century, electric motors have barely evolved until recently. Conventional motors Conventional motors are of iron core type. So as you can see from the photo, a conventional electric motor has radial flux design, laminated stator core, laminated rotor core, cover wire windings, and misinsulation all over the place. It's heavy, bulky, and not so efficient. The brand new PCB stator motors. From the very first glance, you'll notice that a major change ha happened. These motors are of air core type. A PCB stator motor has axial flux design, printed circuit board stator, fill encapsulated cover coils, dual rotor structure. It's light, thin, and ultra efficient. What a PCB stator is? is a technology that eliminates the need for wire winding and iron laminations using conventional motors. In contrast to, to the traditional motors, stator winding of the PCB stator is directly printed on the PCB. Let's zoom in to see how it looks like. The stator is formed from cover edge conductors embedded into multi-layered printed circuit board, aka PCB. So, to know how this new concept would impact the industry, let's watch this short video. For more than a century, the world has relied on motors to power everything. From manufacturing processes to transportation, to heating and cooling the buildings where we live and work. But despite the role they play in keeping the world moving forward, motors haven't changed very much. Constructed of the same iron core and copper windings that have always been the basis for motor design, conventional motors are heavy, loud, and inefficient. With this in mind, Infinitum Electric set out to reimagine every aspect of motor design, from the materials used in construction to how they're produced, transported, installed, and maintained. This approach has delivered a breakthrough air core motor that offers superior performance in half the weight and size at a fraction of the carbon footprint of conventional motors. We've replaced the heavy iron and copper components with a PCB stator to dramatically reduce noise and vibration, making them pound for pound the most efficient motors in the world. And by providing frequency and voltage control through an integrated variable frequency drive, or VFD, we make it possible to more precisely control motor performance. The result is an electric motor that combines top-of-the-line performance and efficiency into a form factor that's easier to use and opens design possibilities to make any machine lighter, quieter, and more energy efficient. We've set the bar for the next generation of motors to be better for the planet and for people. Next is PCB versus iron stators. They say the picture 
is worth a thousand words. Look at these pictures. At first, let's see how different types of motors look like. This is an induction motor. And this is a brushless DC motor. Sometimes it's called EC motor. And finally, this is our new PCB stator motor. Here's a quick comparison for the stators. Conventional versus PCB stator, starting from the overall size and weight. Conventional stator is heavy and bulky. PCB stator is 90% lighter and thin. Current density. For conventional stator, it's about 3000 amps per square inch. For PCB stator, it's about 13,000 amps per square inch, more than four times. In fact, current density could go up to 36,000 amps per square inch. Using oil cooling methods, torque ripple in conventional stator, it do exist. However, in a PCB stator, it's negligible. Cagging Do exist in conventional stator and eliminated in a PCB stator. Stator hysteresis Do exist in conventional stator as you would expect and eliminated in a PCB stator. As you can see, PCB stator concept completely changed our legacy understanding for the stators. Talking of the motors themselves. Conventional motors versus PCB stator motors. Overall size and weight. Conventional motor, as you expect, is heavy and bulky. PCB stator motor is 50 to 70 percent lighter and thin. I want you to see this a quick example. Here we have a 2.2 kilowatt induction stator containing 5 kilograms of copper, and the total motor weight is 45 kilograms. On the other hand, an equivalent 2.2 kilowatt PCB stator contains only 0.6 kilograms of copper and the total motor weight is only 15 kg. Efficiency Conventional motor has good efficiency but it's nothing comparing to the ultra premium efficiency of the PCB stator motor. Acoustic noise Conventional motor has high noise. The PCB stator motor is about 3 to 5 decibel less. Manufacturing process For conventional motor, it's complicated and requires skilled labor. For PCB stator motor, it's much easier and repeatable. Electromagnetic interface EMI. It's high in conventional motors and low in a PCB stator motor. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the pros and cons of a PCB stator motor. They say nothing is perfect in this world. Everything has its pros and cons. In fact, there is a perfect thing. Allah Almighty told us in the Holy Quran 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as a religion so this is a call for you now Muslim people to research Islam where you will find the answers for your biggest questions about the life and the hereafter and it's a call for you Muslim people to be proud of your Islam and feel the blessing of being a Muslim all right now Let's get back to the track. The pros and cons of this technology. Pros. Best fit versus perfect fit. From a single watt to multi kilowatts or even megawatts. You no longer have to look for a best fit rating when you are able to have a perfect fit. Reliability. Isn't cool to have 9 times more reliable motors for your demanding applications? Thanks to the fully encapsulated windings, which means less moving parts, less vibrations, and windings are fully encapsulated in a durable material, FR4. Also, thermal regulation. PCB stator has current and non-current carrying portions. From this photo, we can see the current carrying portions and here are the non-current carrying portions. The cover functions as heat pipes. These non-hollow heat pipes are using the cover to conduct the heat from the center of the stator to the outside edge which is connected to the motor casing in order to reject the heat out. In this thermal image, both machines processing 500 watts. On the left, we have the PCB stator motor and on the right, we have a conventional DC motor. Notice the big difference in motor's temperature. I want to make things clear here. The PCB stator technology is still new and many patents are in play. So for example, the heat pipes that are cooling the stator is patent for a certain party. In this case, for ECM Celestica. Another party may require a fan to cool down the motor like a standard TFC motor. For example, Infinitum Electric, which means that not all of the features that will be discussed in this presentation are applicable on a single party, but I try to provide you with an overall understanding for the concept. Now, to better understand the high reliability of this technology, let's watch this short video. Hi, I'm Stephen Matthew, Director of Product Management at Infinitum Electric, here to talk about PCB stator reliability. First, we need to understand the pitfalls of traditional iron core stator. Traditional iron core stators have two points of failures, insulation and wear. First, let me explain insulation failures. When the copper wire is dipped in the non-conductive insulation material, it is prone to inconsistencies, which are then exasperated by the multiple turns in the copper, mortar vibration, and inconsistent expansion and contraction between the copper and the insulation. All of these culminates in points of failure along the copper windings. PCB stator, on the other hand, it's not susceptible to any of these failures. 
manufactured with multiple layers of FR4 material. Each layer has copper directly etched into it as opposed to copper windings in a traditional stator. While the use of PCB stator in an electric motor is innovative, the material used in its construction has been used in medical, military, and computing applications for well over 60 years. This experience gives us long-term reliability and well-attributed quality control. The stator in our motor works in a far less demanding environment. All these factors contribute to our stators being nine times more reliable than a comparable iron core stator. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thank you. Cogging, torque ribble, stator hysteresis and eddy current pluses are history now. Thanks to the innovative PCB ironless slotless stator, these losses are eliminated or at least negligible. Unmatched efficiency Far less losses than a conventional motor enable a PCB stator motor to easily achieve ultra premium i5 efficiency. These efficiency gains are seen across almost the entire speed range of the motors. The chart below shows an efficiency curve comparison of a 5 horsepower axial flux motor versus 5 horsepower iron core radial flux permanent magnet motor, both running at a constant speed. The efficiency figures show the efficiency of the motors plus VFD. From the graph, the red line on the top represents the PCB stator motor, while the gray line represents a conventional permanent magnet motor. It's obvious that the PCB stator motor preserves the efficiency way better than a conventional BM motor, especially at partial loads. This partial load efficiency does come into play when you think of a duty cycle of whatever you are running, how often it's running, and what kind of energy saving you could have. This is a big plus for PCB stator motors over traditional motors that in no way can perform like so. Quieter overrating. Forces on traditional stator windings can initiate vibration, causing acoustic noise and reliability problems. PCB stator coils are fully encapsulated in composite structure, eliminating this problem. Integrated design to the next level. Compact footprint, weighing up to 70% less. Integrated, fine-tuned silicon carbide MOSFET VFD. And finally, industry 4 ready. Okay. Compact footprint. PCB stator motors are of a pancake shaped design. This is beneficial when dealing with heat exchanger, say in an air handling unit. Bank shaped design results in reducing wind shadow effect. A large wind shadow negatively affects the performance of a heat exchanger, reducing efficiency and diminishing unit capacity. Manufacturers tend to address this challenge by building a blow-through AHUs with a longer blend cap in it to counter the wind shadow from traditional motors. In contrast, the pancake shape helps making an air handler with a lighter motor that requires less support structure and a shorter fan section. Weighing up to 70% less, allowing to use lighter supporting structure. Integrated, fine-tuned silicon carbide MOSFET VFD. Running at higher fundamental frequencies than most of the VFDs in the market. This provides a level of control not available in conventional motors. 
and the high switching frequency of the VFD from 100 to 250 kilohertz also dramatically reduces audible noise. It features modular design which provides more flexibility in arrangement. Remote VFD option available for large scale application. Industry 4 ready. In the era of big data, fourth industrial revolution and the internet of things, rich data is the key for successful proactive maintenance approach. Embedded sensors in both the VFD and motor provide insights about motor and drive temperatures, vibration, speed, current, and voltage. Over the air firmware updates and connectivity, we have Madbus TCB, Madbus RTU, cellular IT connection, and more. All right, so these were some of the pros for using a PCB stator motor. Now let's move on and talk about the cons. There aren't many. For example, max ingress protection rating IB54 so far. Max ambient temperature 40 degrees Celsius only. Explosion protected type for hazardous location is not available yet. And VFD is mandatory for probable operation. And finally, over the air updates in IoT connectivity drive the risk of cyber attack. Now let's talk a bit about its application. Your go to option when space is at minimum but power is a must. HVAC, machinery, aerospace, automotive and appliances. In HVAC, these motors can be used for fans, pumps and compressors. Actually key market players like twin city fans and comfrey fans have already adopted this type of motors to take their fans to the next level. Machinery Power generators, pumps and compressors the market leader Caterpillar also adopted PCB stator alternators to reduce the footprint and weight of its power generators. In aerospace, drones, propulsation, auxiliary motors. In automotive, which is a promising field, it could be used for hybrid assist, propulsation, and auxiliary motors. And finally, for appliances, like for example, vacuum cleaners, pumps, dryers, etc. So that's it for today's presentation. If you found this topic interesting, you can have a look at the references used for preparing this material. Special thanks for Celestica and Infinitum Electric for providing information, support and feedback.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله